Hello. Uh, hello. What's up? Can you hear us? Uh, can our uh, nope. Where are we? Nope. There we are. Oh, there we are. There. Yep. Okay. How's um, it going? Uh, good tidings. This is Warhammer: Age of Sigmar Champions card game necromancy. It's a it's a mouthful. I know. Yeah. Um, this it blows is the right. It just falls right out of the mouth. This is the same company that put out Lightseekers, which we yep. did last week. If you haven't watched the Lightseekers video, would recommend watching it. It gives you a good baseline. We're going to be talking a lot of concepts that uh, were carried over from Lightseekers into this game. This game also had a companion digital client uh, where you could scan in your collection and get one-for-one -one copies of the cards in your digital client. And yep. we'll talk about that a little bit, too. Um, yep. So I'll touch on the differences, the main differences of the game. And then we're pretty much just going to get right to playing because we sort of know how it flows. We know a lot of the mechanics because they're similar to Lightseekers. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, shill mode over. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the main difference in this and Lightseekers is this is built off... You build a team of four champions. And champions look like this. There's an orc for those of you who are green skin inclined. Very cool. Very cool. So you make a team of champions using the point value here. It's it's pretty small and it's chroma, so it's probably hard to see, but this is a five right here. You have 20 points worth of champions to build off of. Okay? So you assemble a team of four using up to 20 points. You don't have to use 20 exactly. You don't get any benefit for not using 20. There's no, like, handicap rule, right? Yeah, there's no you go first if your team costs the less. Yep, and all the uh, all the champions have an ability, or most of them have an ability, and they all have these corner abilities, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, champion can be either a warrior or a wizard. Warriors can play units. Wizards can play spells. Warriors cannot play spells. Wizards cannot play units, unless oh. otherwise specified, of course. There are also warrior wizards that can play both. But notice this guy's 12 points. That is more than half of your total team's total point costs. Okay? Yeah. Um, they all have these quests, is what it's called, in the corners. Now, whenever you play a card, you're going to specify which one of your four heroes is playing that card. A game you don't play. <laughs> yes, you're welcome, Fighting Wilden. I hope you enjoy this stream. Um, whenever you play a card from your hand, you specify what... Uh, which of your champions is playing that card, okay? So that is important for these abilities. In order to rotate your champions, you have to match whatever is in their top left currently. So this, this person's quest is currently to play a unit that is Stormcast. You can see the Stormcast symbol, then the unit will have that symbol on it as well. And if you play a Stormcast unit, you get to rotate your champion one. And then this would complete if you play an ability card. This will complete if you play an ability card. This will complete if he does a damage. And that would count if a unit in his lane does damage. You get progress for that. Now, what happens when your champions fully rotate, you ask? Well, you start the deck building with four blessings. And blessings are randomly distributed at the beginning of the game and placed underneath your champions so that each one has one, but you don't know which of your four blessings are under that champion. But after they complete their quests, you get to play them. Here's a Here's an example of a blessing. It's probably not a great example. Let me grab one from my deck because that one's elf specific and we don't have any elves. But here's one that's just like do six damage. Gain two health. Pretty simple. Uh, blessings can also have rotations abilities on them. It looks like the scale of damage in this game is much smaller overall than light seekers. That's one of but my... I think it's more consistent because yes. you'll have way more units. Yeah. Uh... This one does four damage to your opponent. Increase this by five if the highlight champion is disengaged. Disengaged means they have nothing in their lane. Uh, no on their... units. Yeah. Okay. Nothing at all. No spells. Okay. And disengage not just in their friendly spots. Okay. So that's blessings. That's champions. Uh, the card types. There are three card types: abilities. And abilities specify whether they can be played by wizards or warriors or any. And abilities just are just do what's on the card. This one looks at the top four cards of the deck and draws one. Uh, then you can choose to either put the others back in the deck or shuffle. So in the same it's order like a, shuffle. The deck. So it's like a tutor. Yeah, it's like a 
It's like an impulse. Or... It's like an impulse, yeah. Yeah. And wizards, only wizards can play that, obviously. Um, there's spells that sit on the board. You're used to the rotation mechanics. They rotate at the start of the turn. And when they reach their numbers, they do stuff based on this one. just does um, damage to your opponent. Increased by four if the champion has completed its quest. So... So you uh, can you can play that in anticipation of completing your quest before um, so, you could, so you can try. It. That was um, my casual observation, having only played this game one or two times when it came out, borrowing decks from other people. It felt like when you knew the timing in this game, um, you when were you knew th when things were going to happen based on the yeah. It just was like yeah. a very knowledge intensive game. Yeah, I felt because like the the meta was more or less solved and you kind of knew how things were clicking together mm -hmm. i bet a game like this is really fun when everybody's just kind of figuring stuff out on their own and then once you get to that point where everybody knows what everybody's doing the game probably gets less fun and it feels like you're it's almost the same working. thing every over and over again I feel like you're working off a of script the cards are the decks are exactly 30 cards and you pick four champions and you pick four blessings so 38 cards total sort of uh, yeah. These are not these are not like putting your deck though. That's why I have them sleeved separately. I think there were three copies of each card too, right? Up to three copies of each card per deck yeah. building. Yeah. And then here is a unit for an example of the unit. So this one says reduce damage received from highlighted enemies by the the amount in the top. And the corner three is damage to your opponent. So this is reduce damage by one, reduce damage by one in front of them, and the final is four damage. And of course, when they rotate to nothing, they go away. Just like in lightsaber, like the light seekers. So, that's, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, we can hop right in. You uh, you the... start with thirty five or thirty health, and that is modified by the red numbers on the chosen champion. So, for each of your champions, you get to modify your total. So I have plus two, um, plus two, plus one, and plus one. However, you can't go above thirty five. So, I normally would be thirty six, but I just go to thirty five. So my Mega Boss on Ma Crusher has 8 points and 2 health, so I go to 32. The War Boss, War Boss Recruiter is 5 points and 1 health, so I go to 33. The Rip Tooth Mega Boss is 5 points and no health. And then the Savage Boar Boss is 2 points and minus 1 health, so okay. back down to 32. Um, I am gonna. I'm playing Stormcast. Dane's playing Orcs. Orcs. Go ahead, and, go ahead and show your champions off. Rant. To Thank the you. to the card cam, so we can take a look at what they all do. Nostalgic Warp Cream based on a miniature game that I didn't play. I saw the game store when I played Warp Machine. I miss mini games. Yeah. <laughs> Let me make sure. I, I'm, I'm glaring over here. I'm glaring. I'm glaring. I can't see me, so I have I have no idea if I might even be glaring in. too. I might not even be in frame. Yes, yeah, so you. Yeah, a little bit of glare. Let me fix I'm the glaring glare. over here. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll talk to Phil time while Justin is uh, adjusting since Justin threw his microphone on the floor. Um, yeah, uh, I I had an affinity for this game because of Warhammer and um, uh, Warhammer 40k because uh, I own miniatures for both games. Even though I have not played 40k in almost 20 years, um, so yeah, it's been a long time since I've played 40k. Um, I still like uh, uh, the a lot of the franchise stuff. So um, here is the mega boss. When he uh, when the champion removes one or more highlighted units, gain one additional action this turn. So if he kills one you, of your you units. Play a card that removes a unit. I it is free basically. Get another action. Um, and that red like in Light Seekers where you get two actions per turn and you draw cards to your unused actions. Um, so the red right here is any of your spots. Anything, yes, yeah. any spot. Um, okay, the War Boss Recruiter has a heroic act, and heroic acts can only be used once per turn. Uh, it costs an action, and you can only use one heroic act per turn. Yeah. yeah. So um, draw one card face up. If it is an Oruk unit, then um, I can deploy it onto this champion. Um, so, uh, reveal, he, basically. yeah, so I draw, but you also draw a card. I draw and I could possibly save an action, which is insane. The rip tooth mega boss, um, progress, uh, progress this champion's quest one step forwards 
whenever it removes one or more highlighted units, even if the uh, that card applied the remove, um, also progress the quest. Uh, so normally one card play can only progress the quest one time. Even if you like play a unit that does damage, you can't do unit then damage. Then that's two in one step. Normally that can't happen. So this uh, he breaks shit. that rule. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. And then finally, the Savage Boar boss. When this champion deploys a beast unit, rotate it one step forward after it has entered play, unless it is clunky. And clunky is the uh, the not smooth. It's yeah, like it's these. that same symbol. Yes, yeah. it's the, the same symbol. So it moves ahead forward when something forces it to. Um, to... The orc deck with the cards that we have it's probably better. It's just gonna be better. Probably. And you better. saw there's a lot of really good synergies looking like in Nathan's stuff. Uh, yeah. I'll show you my um, heroes, and two of them are the same and are blank. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. They're just basic. They're just dudes. Dudes, right? Yeah. Um, but they're cheap. One of my heroes costs twelve. So, but he and he's a warrior wizard though, so that he's got a lot of options, and he has a heroic act to look at the top two cards of your deck and. Uh, move one to your hand, the other to the bottom of your deck. So you that's essentially what you want to do. Instead, If you're just going to draw, you might as well just use this heroic act, right? And then Vandis, Hammer Hand. Uh, when a unit controlled by this champion is removed by your opponent, deal three damage to them. So ah, okay. So that's, it's, core, that's a little bit of good he's play, right? He's teched against me. He teched against me. Uh, so we don't place our champions yet. Okay. So what we're going to do is shuffle our blessings. Okay. Blessing is shuffled. Blessing shuffled. And you offer to your opponent to randomize. It's cut or whatever. And then you place your blessings face down in your middle lane. And then we randomly determine who's going to go first. With uh, the most with humble room. player will go first. All right. JK. I rolled a four. All right. So I go first. So that means I place one of my heroes in any lane I choose. So I will place Vendus Hammerhand here, and now you place two. I gotcha. I do like this. This is another one of those things where I feel like it would it would matter more if, if you knew what's going if on. If I knew what yeah. was going on. So um, there's um, there's like units in the deck that care about positioning, right? And like do they things that you so you can only play on certain yeah. things I don't so know. yeah i don't really it's know what they are, so whatever I, yeah yeah uh i'll play celestin prime i placed two yeah and i gotta place one more okay so you place two now yeah and i'll place this uh shuffle our decks i i don't remember how many cards you're supposed to draw mm. and now i'm panicking panicking uh, i'm panicking should I Google real I think quick? It's, I think it's like four. I think it's four and five. Uh, five. Oh, if you're going second, you draw. Going, yeah, I think you draw one less. Let me see. Hilarious. Too bad you don't have a rule sheet to consult. Yeah, there was no rule sheet, so I had to add, actually Google. Brant is saying four and five. Four and five. Okay, that's what I thought. Golden rules. Card types. Yep, covered all that. This rule book's not great. Card uh, category. Yep, 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 yep. Quest and blessings. Order of events. Just tell me playing a game. There's no like quick Heroic start rules. Yeah. Tag, Tag player. Play. Uh, beginning of game. Okay. Champion placement. We've completed the champ. We've completed 3.2.2. The player going first draws four. Okay. The player going second draws five. All there right. There we go. We got it. Uh, that was covered Should in. Should have been confident. <laughs> in that. Of course, we have these sweet play mats that Nathan was able to, to get yep. for us. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I was able to procure these through my illicit network. All right. I'll draw four. And we'll go. Now, this doesn't quite matter. Justin is using the uh, Stormcast. It's not as cinematic um, as it could be. Uh, I I found an undead playmat, so I'm using an undead playmat, but um, uh, didn't. I don't think I had access to an orc one, so. 
All right, so I, I kind of want to like try to progress my quests, right? So it seems pretty important. Yeah, it seems important. And this, you said this was deal damage. That's deal damage. This is play an Auroch unit. Yep. This is play a beast unit. This is play an ability. Yep. Uh, this is just play any unit, right? Any unit. Okay. Okay, so I got damage, damage, damage. And then play a unit, so. And you draw based off the number of unused actions, correct? Because uh, you don't draw cards naturally? Correct. Okay. So I will just play this Skybolt Judicator, which I'll put over here. XX, and then damage to opponent. And it is increased this by three of the highlighted unit. Uh, champion does not control a unit, but you have time to like. Yeah, I got some deal time to get something in. And then I'll do a heroic after to look at the top two cards and move one in my hand, the other to the bottom. Mmm. That's pretty good. All right, so I'll move that. I, I'm willing to bet that they are balanced around that card. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. All right, your turn. I don't draw any because I use both my actions, but one of my actions is essentially to draw a card, so. Orc names, man. <laughs> Orc names. I'm laughing at the orc names. Um, I mean, uh, it's just wog time, right? Probably, yeah. Is the coloring hard to read up close? Seems like cards blend in the play mat a bit, like uh, like on these cards. Yeah, so um, I do think this is a step backwards in this game in, compared like, to Lightseekers. Yeah. Um, and that's because uh, the it's like I guess they were gonna still try to keep with like the grim dark palette. So, uh, but you just it just looks like you're playing a Fallout, right? Like uh, uh, it's all browns and grays and greens, right? The back is pretty so, cool. It's it's got the same like the embossing embossing. If you can yeah. sort of sort of see that, yeah. I, really, I, but... I, and once again, I think the color palette uh, is a, is a detriment there because it doesn't like leap off the back of the card. And the, like, like the, the differences in, in the faction colors is very oh, mild. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what was it? Is it like Stormcast and Death or whatever? Where it, it's like... Laser Order and then that's uh, Destruction. Yeah. And then there's like Chaos and uh, Death or whatever. So. Yeah, and like the... the There's not enough... And there's also neutral cards. Yeah, there's like not enough variation between them to really tell. Yeah, it, it's, so. it's tough. I remember having trouble when I was sorting all my cards, like collection wise, to just be like, oh, I actually put this in the wrong spot. Yeah. So, yeah. The, there's, the, there's like not enough other visual indicators. One of, that is one of my main complaints about the game, is that it's just sort of ugly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The cards are just kind of ugly. Now, the art's pretty great because it's like. The art is great. The, it's, it's Warhammer art. So, um, all right. Uh, I'm going to play. The Big Stabba Crew. The Big Stabba Crew. All right. And uh, they do damage to the opponent. Yeah, and the neutral cards are very hard to differentiate. I didn't put... I don't think there's any neutral cards in either of these decks, though. Um, you increase the damage by two if the opponent does not have a unit. Okay. So uh, I'm going to play the Big Stabba Crew, and that is actually going to let me advance my Riptooth Mega Boss, because all I have to do is just play a unit. Um... And then I show you there are, there are units with the keyword stacking. I there are some in here in yes. that deck. So stacking units you can play on top of other units with the keyword stacking, and what it does is it resets them. Uh, only the unit on top matters, and the units that have stacking might say support. That is the amount of cards underneath them. Okay. So it's it might say like increased by X yep. if you're if you have F to support or something like that. It's like banding. Uh, but the cards underneath don't matter at all. You go. I go. You Okay. So I am going to play the Trampling Grunta. Okay. That's a Warp Hog. It's a beast. So my Savage Boar boss, um, when this champion deploys a beast unit, rotate it one step forward after his inner play, unless it is clunky. Um, and so rotate is damage to your opponent. So this does two. Okay. Um, and highlighted spells and units are dormant. Oh. So dormant means it doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. Um, you ignore its abilities, so, yeah. All right, there is the Trampling Grunta. All right, and it is your turn. Yeah, dormant doesn't rotate or anything like that. So. Yeah. We rotate at the start of the turn, right? 
uh, during the battlefield phase. The battlefield phase. Yeah, okay. so I started my battlefield phase, I would not rotate it. So you are Dormant done. means it just doesn't do anything at all? It just... It's, 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 it sits. I, okay. I believe it just sits. So I could look that up, I guess. In the game rules. Control F, dormant. Yeah. <sighs> Limbo. Does not apply its effects and cannot rotate or restart, even from other card effects. This does not stop a card as Ender's Play effect from figuring in Limbo. Okay. Alright. So he just sits there and doesn't do anything. Alright, so my turn. I will... He's too busy being trampled by a warthog. Play... Uh, Celestin Prime is going to play the Paladin Protector. Two and one. It says reduce damage from highlighted enemies by that amount. Yep. And that is that. And okay. it says highlighted ally units cannot be removed. So these two units ah. can't be removed. Yeah. And then that was played a unit, so I get to rotate my Celestin Prime. Boom. Rotated. Uh, my second action... I think I'll play this Paladin Decimator. So he's just zero, one, two, three damage. Okay. He he does more and more damage. Pretty basic stuff there. Okay, I am done. All right. So battlefield phase. This rotates forward and does two damage, but it's reduced by two. Yep. Correct. All right. My big Stava crew rotates, does one damage. Um, you have a unit, so it is not increased, and now it's reduced, so it doesn't do anything there. Um, all right, I am going to use the War Boss Recruiter, so Heroic Act. Um, I only get one, so I'm going to draw one card face up. It is the Mosh Pit. Three damage to your opponent. Increase this by the support of the highlighted unit. Mm -hmm. That's this the card, support the top of the card. stack. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. And if your deck runs out of cards, you're just out of cards, it's right? It's the same like empty deck rules that okay. Lightseeker has. Okay, yeah. excellent, excellent. Good to know. All right, so that was not a unit, so um, I do not uh, deploy it face up in front of the War Boss Recruiter. Um, so do I just run the clock out on that Protector? Um... It's going to reduce damage. Uh, it's reduced damage from highlighted enemies. So enemies it would by. include it would include that. So if I play an ability from this, it would be reduced. I think so. Right? Yeah, I think so. Because this it would be this enemy playing. Um, Okay, I guess I'm gonna deadly chop the Paladin Protector here. Okay. It says remove a highlighted spell or unit, so I can remove him. I can't remove the correct. Um, so and that does one damage to the opponent. So that damage lets me move this forward. Yep. It says progress this champion's quest one step forward whenever it removes one or more highlighted units. So can I? Uh, what's the timing on that? Do I remove the unit, so skip the damage part, and I've played an ability, or is it only if I play the ability? It's when you play the ability. You would, okay. So if, basically if it was at the other spot. Okay, so, but I could do damage from this. Yeah. No, I guess it's only, I, I guess it only moves one step, because I do the things in order, right? Right. Because I've removed play the Play an ability, unit. remove a unit, rotate, do a damage. Yeah. So, um... I have to do damage to rotate it. Right. I remove the thing so I can rotate it, but I can't play the ability now. So yeah, I, I, um, the timing on that doesn't quite work out so that I get to get two progress there. Um, okay, so that is my second action though. Um, so, all right, go ahead. All right, so I will play... Oh, so start my turn. Um, one damage. This is still dormant. Yep. Uh, so you take one. I will play... Celestial Protector, or Prosecutor. So, corner two is increased damage done to your opponent from highlighted units by that amount, and the corner four is damage to your opponent, which is four. Okay, kind of so it increases your other unit's damage and then does a bunch of damage. That's a Stormcast unit, so I get to rotate again. Okay. And my second action will just be to use this heroic act. Okay. Okay, 
draw that, put this on the bottom. And your turn. All right. So uh, I rotate the trampling Grunta to do two to you. Uh, it already rotated to the two, right? So it goes to zero? You're right. Sorry. It goes to zero and goes away. Okay. Uh, the big Stabba crew will rotate and do two damage to you. Um, and then uh, I'm going to use the War Boss Recruiter to draw a card face up. It is the Sweeping Gore Grunta. Um, Beast Oruk. Um, it does damage to you and remove. Oh, so I see. Um, this is a unit, so I can deploy it there. Mm -hmm. And um, once it rotates to here, I get to do one damage and then remove something. Yep. So, uh, sure, I'll play him there since that saves me an action. Um, and then... Um, do I... Uh, get some more stuff out there. No, I did damage. I was supposed to rotate this guy. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um. Hmm. Actually, I don't think I play this guy. You know, it it's saves like you, may, you play it. Yeah, you may deploy. Um, what I'm gonna do instead is play the show off Grotz. Okay. Um, for my turn. Uh, so that is uh, X one and one, and it says damage to your opponent increases by one for each support. It has rock. stacking. Okay. Yeah, and, and it has stacking as the important thing. So, um, okay, go ahead. All right, start of my turn. Uh, and then battlefield phase, so this rotates and does two. Okay. One, two. Uh, no, it doesn't rotate. Okay. So this rotates and increases damage done to your opponent's mortality units by that much. Yep, so it I, doesn't do it this turn. I but... believe I believe you do it from left to right. Yeah. And then this guy rotates, and he's also an X. Okay. So nothing yet. Then I will play this disruptive liberator. And he seems pretty good. Um uh, your opponent can't deploy units, or that that uh -huh. opponent can't deploy units. So that's that's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, he did, rotates once, does one. What rotates the second time does two. Okay. All right. So can't play units to the mega boss. And I'll use the Celestine Prime ability. I'll draw that. Put that on the bottom. Okay. Your turn. All right. So uh, left to right, you said. Left to right. All right. So my big Stabba crew goes away. My show-off grots do um, one damage. Okay. Um, that is damage, so I get to rotate my war boss recruiter. Um, I am going to... I haven't actually paid attention to my uh, quests or my blessings, so I don't know if I'm advancing the right ones or not. I'm just kind of playing. Stuff. We don't know what blessings are under what. We don't know what your blessings do. Ah, okay. okay. So you don't. We, get to, that's we you, randomize. You do not see them. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. You do uh, not see them. Ah, uh, I see. Um. Okay. All right. I'll play the Savage Boar boss here, and um, it is a beast unit, so when it comes into play, it gets to come into play and rotate once. Okay. Um, and okay. then... So it'll basically it advances it to the remove spot. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, um, yeah, it was Lightseekers. Uh, we did Lightseekers last week, so that's why we did, we're doing this this yep. week. Then we're doing the follow-up. Do I draw or I play something? I guess I'll draw. 
Is there any reason for me to not draw it face up? Um, try to hit the stacking thing to put on that. I don't. I guess know. no. There's not reason to, right? You already um, didn't use a heroic act yet, so yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll heroic act. Um, cannot put it on there. Uh, it is the pouncing wolf rider. It is a beast. It is a grot that does damage to the opponent. Um, and I gain an extra action this yeah. turn. So this okay. is a this is a darker and a little more complex version of light seekers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead. It's I... it's Warhammer, so everybody's fascists. So. Yeah. So start my turn. This rotates and does three plus one damage. One, two, three, four. This rotates and it's still uh, it's adding. It's still adding. This rotates and does four damage plus one, so, so five, five damage. Yep. It's not dead yet, but and increased by three if the opposing champion does not control a unit, but it does control yeah. a unit. So and this rotates and does one damage. Uh, this needed to progress for doing damage, and this guy progresses for doing damage. Okay. That was a good bit of damage there. Yeah, it was a bit of damage. So I can't deploy anything else. I don't have any abilities to play, so I'll use the heroic act on the Celestant. And draw. And put that on the bottom. And that is my action phase, so I'll go to my draw phase and I'll just draw a card. And your turn. Uh, okay, so left or right, we go here. Uh, this does a damage, and then I get to remove something. Um, so I'm gonna remove this guy because yeah. uh, he's pissing me off. <laughs> um, and also, it prevents four damage from happening. That's a lot of damage. Um, and then the Grot advances and does one damage. Um, okay, I will. Yeah, the rotation mechanic is, mechanic is pretty cool. I do like the way it, it's handled in this game with the quests and stuff. It's pretty. It's it lets you. It has it, it's a, it's got really cool implications for deck building when you have to look at all the quests. What for is your, that, your guys? Is that remove? That is remove. Okay, so, so I have remove. to remove something. Yes. Him, so. Hmm. Um. All right. I'll draw face up off the war boss recruiter. Is an auric, but doesn't stack, so I can't put it there. Uh, this is a gore choppa brute. Um, damage to your opponent, and if the highlighted champion costs seven or more, this damage is done with rend, and rend is ignore, ignore any prevention. Okay. So, um, okay, I am uh, gonna play, I guess, the gore choppa brute here, um, and it does one damage to you. And since Celestin Prime costs a bunch, you can't prevent. Not that you have any prevention in play right now, but um, yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right, so start my turn. The Decimator's gone. Okay. This guy is gone. Yep. This guy does two damage. Okay, I am at 17. All right, so now I can get back to business. Okay. I'll play the Stormstrike Fulminator. It reduces damage from highlighted units by that amount. Yep. And the third is a lot of damage. So just that enemy. Well, I guess that may be not worth it then. This guy's going away too. I don't want to play a guy here though. Well, yeah, not against the rending yeah. unit, right? Actually, actually I'm going to play... Um, I'm gonna play this disruptive liberator. Okay. So that that guy can't deploy units, which seems pretty good on this guy. And this guy this gets to rotate once. And then I will play righteousness, which is a spell. It's our first spell. That deck doesn't have any spells. There's no there's no wizards in the orc deck, right? Uh, three damage, and that's as soon as it comes to play, it does three, and reduces damage from the highlight enemies by two. So. These enemies are reduced by two this turn. Okay. Until it goes away, which is which will go away next turn. That is a spell, so I get to rotate. And that is my turn. Okay. Um. So uh, left to right, the Grunta goes away. The Gore Chopper Brute does one, and it rends. 
So oh, the one runs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the show off grots um, do one that is prevented. Um, okay. I am uh, going to play Mosh Pit here. It does three damage to you. Um, and uh, I don't have any support here, uh, but you also discard the top card of your deck. Um, and since uh, that was an ability, I don't get to advance this. I don't, even though it does three damage, I don't get to advance because I have to like Correct. actually have it do the damage first. Um, and then I am going to play uh, the Pouncing Wolf Riders right here. Um, I get to advance them one. Um, uh, is that worth it? Uh, I get an action out of this. Yeah, that's worth it. Um, so it does one damage to you, but it's prevented by the Righteousness, and this also gives me an extra action. So mm -hmm. I get one extra action, which I'm just going to use to draw a card. Seems good. Um, and it is your turn. All right, so this does the damage. Uh, this goes away. This goes away. Wolf Rider, yeah. The Wolf yeah. Rider's insane. Getting extra actions in the game is so stupidly good, right? Uh, I will use the Celestin Prime and look at the top two. Hmm. Okay, I'll get this, get these back. Yeah, if you have like multiple in play, oh god. <laughs> I will play this Stormstrike Fulminator. So that's gonna do or reduces damage received from the highlighted enemy uh, by that amount. I guess that doesn't matter there either. I guess I can't play this in a place where it actually matters. Except to like advance a quest. Yeah. Maybe I should play this guy then. I'll play. I'll just play this guy. This Paladin Decimator. It's a unit, so I get to rotate. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. So this rotates and doesn't do anything this turn. He rotates and does three damage. Um, and so this is do damage. Do I do the blessing immediately? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, this is Prophet of the Wag. Does this come down here? Is yeah. That the way it works. Okay. Um, I gain additional actions this turn. Highlighted allies are no longer restricted to using one heroic act per turn. So my guys can do multiple. So I get um, extra actions it's as the game good. progresses. So. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, and then this rotates and explodes. Um, all right. I will uh, draw. I guess I could just... Well, the heat stops me from deploying units, right? Right. Right. Um, so I'll... Remember, you have to do your actions first if you want to. Oh, okay, so I'll heroic act then and draw with him. Okay. Since he breaks the, yep. the, the turn that. order. So, um, Trampling Grunta goes to my hand. That's one. And I can I can do that multiple times. Yeah. Um, so I'll do it again. Uh, this is the Mosh Pit. Um, I... Or can you... Uh... With X uh, means that the card is blank. Oh right. yeah, yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Um, okay, so I uh, still only have one action. Then I will play the uh, big stabba crew. Big stabba crew. Okay, and that's that. What does the big stabba crew do? Damage your opponent increases by two if the highlighted champion does not control the unit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right, man, it's your turn. Well, I'll start by rotating. Do two damage. I'll do one damage. No quests there. I will use the Celestance ability. Look at the top two. That seems good. I will play... The Stormstrike Fulminator, which is the reduced damage by the enemy in front of it. Yep. On this guy, he'll rotate. He's going to reduce damage from that guy by one. Yep. And that's my turn. 
All right, so this rotate doesn't do anything. This rotates. I have an extra action. Um, the gore chop up brute goes away. The profit of the wog rotates. I get one action. So four actions for this turn. Um, so I'm going to use the war boss recruiter to draw its mosh pit. I'll use the war boss recruiter to draw. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate that. Um, this is the Brute Smashes. Um, damage to the opponent. If this unit has support to, this damage is done with Rend. So, um, I can stack. Okay. You could deploy that for free, right? If you wanted to. Because you're still using this guy? Yeah, you stopped me from deploying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, the, 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 uh, this, you... If you win the game, it's because I literally could not play units, yeah, yeah. or and you dealt you. I think you like stopped like. 10 That's a good bit of damage. Yeah, I think you stopped like ten. So, um, uh, it's because you knew all of the cards I and you counterplayed cards. against me did not the know. whole time, <laughs> the entire time. Mister Four Actions, the turn. And then I am going to play the brute smashes. Um, so they do two to you. And then I'll mosh pit over here. Uh, does three damage to you. Um, it's reduced by one, uh, but that's so that I can get some progress on my okay. mega boss. Okay, and it is your turn. That was my four. I drew two, played two. So. All right, so this goes away. This guy does two damage. This guy does the reduced still. Uh, I will use self sensibility. I just want to draw an ability. I can't draw an ability. Well, I guess I'll get this guy again. Uh, I have an action. I will play... I'll play another Disruptive Liberator over here. Uh, I'm done. Keeps stacking against me. Yeah, keeps stacking against me. I mean, that, right. that's kind of what Stormcast uh, does. This so. does two. Uh, is reduced by one. Um, this explodes. Oh, so one. Yeah. Uh, this does two. Uh, this goes up. So I have an extra action this turn. Um, I will use the War Boss Recruiter. Um, I have the Show Off Grots. That just does a bunch of damage. Um, so I have an extra action. Uh, I like have to, I I'm gonna use him because I like need something that removes that guy before he he like basically straight up kills me. Um, so war boss recruiter draws. I get r rallying cry. Deploy two units from your hand onto any highlighted champions. They can be wizards. That doesn't do it. So I guess I will play the rallying cry here. So that I'll advance him. Um, and then I can deploy two units. So I'll deploy the Oruk Scrappers here. That's an orc so that advances him. One card. They can't deploy. No, oh, you're right. I literally, I, I literally didn't get to use one of my champions this game. Um, so this guy moves forward, and um, that advances. So it does two to you, and it makes him dormant. Okay. Um, and I get to deploy another thing. Deck size is 30 cards. So I will deploy the Oruk Scrappers here. Um, they're stacking, so um, that goes right there. Mm -hmm. And it is your turn. Okay, so this does one damage. This is dormant, and that's four damage. Yep, that's five total damage. Three. I will use Cell Stunt. Look at the top two. Grab this. It says in the bottom. I will play an ability. The question is who's playing this ability. Probably this guy. Yes. So this is Triumphant Smash and it's a foil. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. It says remove a highlighted enemy spell or unit. If a card was removed, rotate a highlighted ally unit one step backwards. So that's uh, removed. Uh, I get to complete my quest there. 
And then I get to remove it, rotate a highlight ally unit one step backwards. And that does one damage. And that completes the damage part of his quest. Am I rotating the right, the right way? Boop, boop, boop. That, that, that. So he's, he gets his blessing now. Which is four damage to an opponent. Uh, I am Increases dead. Increases by five if the Highland Champion is disengaged. Uh, yeah, I am dead. Which he is. Yeah. <laughs> Super dead. All right. There you go. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't play units where I needed to play them. Like on the dude who let me play free units. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, that's champions. That's champions. <laughs> I mean, we could play again, I guess. I think we could. We that took no time, right? Yeah, so let's play. Again. I think we could play again. Let's we'll see what happens this time. Yeah, I don't. Know. Uh, I mean, I was lied to. I was told that orcs were broken. <laughs> Did you saw the broken stuff they were doing? Um, yeah, I didn't get to do any of it. <laughs> I guess Stormcast is built around shut down stuff, right? Yeah. I didn't get to do any of it. I'm sorry so. that we've insulted you with our yeah. video. They were definitely broken. Yeah. If you played online, everybody was playing yeah. the like you couldn't get a game. That's that's what I uh, that was my understanding was that the orcs were like the entirety of the online uh, meta. Yeah, it was rough. So the game is. Uh, I mean, what are your, what are your thoughts on the game? Uh, I mean, to, if, like, I, if that was my first game that I played of this, I would think this game was horseshit. <laughs> if my friend was like, "Hey, I built some decks. I'm gonna give you the good deck," and then um, every card that he played canceled my cards, I would be like, "This game is awful." You want to swap decks? No, 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 no. I'm just well, like, but that I felt like that's like a knowledge thing, right? This dude, the dude that I had over here, was the guy who lets me play free units and all the stacking stuff, and you were just like, "I'll just keep this thing in front of him that let, that." Let's you the keep because I had like three stacking units in my hand, so I could have just kept piling them up in the game, and that would have been enough to get past the damage right uh, reduction that you had. But it was like I had like there were multiple turns where I had a bunch of stuff out, and you were just like, "I'll prevent all this damage." Um, and uh, Light Seekers was like different, right? Because the stuff we were playing was high impact, yeah, um, uh, one way or the other. But this game was like very incremental. It's like I like I said, I felt like I got. Um, what was the uh, which of the orcs was the one they? I, know, I think they nerfed one. Uh, well, I mean, it, I believe it was one of those. Yeah, I mean, uh, so I, 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 I was thinking that I had more removal than I did, so I got rid of the thing that stopped me from removing, stopped Justin from preventing me from removing a bunch of stuff, and I, and I think I still, like saved six damage when I got rid of that unit too. It was just like, I don't know. I would, I would have much preferred to have uh, removed those idiots that kept me from playing units. Yeah. So. I also drew them all. I mean, that's... You're right. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. But that, that's, like, my point, right? Like, that feels like... But but it's like Hearthstone. It's like 30-card decks. Yeah. You can't get mad at your opponent drawing all three of them because it's not unlikely. I mean, you, you, Celestine lets you draw... Look at two and pick one, right? So um, I can't even get mad and basically say, it's a 75-card deck. You drew three copies of it, right? That's not... It's not, it's not even unlikely that you get to see three copies of a card yeah. so that, that that is nothing that is literally not a point for me to to be aggravated with um in the game so i'll play this little guy uh like... sure i will play the war boss recruiter um and then i will play the rip tooth mega boss i'll play Vandus. The comma, I think, is what broke there. Oh, geez. And uh, uh, Bark Celestine. Uh, right. I will play uh, Mega Boss and then the Savage Boar Boss. Play Liberator. All right. Drama Let me five. begin. Okay. I think I did not uh, play for quests effectively that game either. Okay, so yeah. um, there, so it was 
it was one of those things where I was like, okay, I'm going to play for the quest next turn, and then you would like play the guy that says I can't play units. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just draw some cards to try to play for my other quests, or try to set up some other stuff. You know, like, I'll prevent damage that's done with my guys that need to do so damage. now that's the man's. This is the guy, the man's. yeah. So you just put your idiots there, and then... <laughs> Excellent. Um, so I'll play this Hurricane Raptor, which I actually didn't see, but it has the same effect. So it's only it's one and two damage, and then the highly Champion can't deploy spells, units, or play abilities. Yeah. Uh, what is one damage, and that gets to rotate? Uh, right? I right. started the game with 32 health. So 31. Okay. And then I will play... The Skybolt Judicator, which is rotate, rotate, rotate. And those four. Yeah, and that four advanced my quest right there. So that's it. Okay. All right. I am going to play um, the Gore Choppa Brute. So it'll do a damage to you. Um, which will let me advance my mega boss on Ma Crusher. Um, and then I am uh, going to play my Pouncing Wolf Riders, and this lets me rotate it one step forward. So that's going to do a damage to you, and I will get an extra action. Damage and actions? Yeah, that's damage to your opponent and action, yep. Uh, and then I'm going to play the Brute Smashes here. So, uh, two damage to you. This is playing a unit, so this will advance him. Um, and it is your turn. Okay, so this is a dormant, right? No. It's not, that's not the dormant guy. Yeah. Okay, so this rotates, this rotates, um, two damage. Okay. Okay. I'll use the Celestine ability. Sure. I'll put that on the bottom. And then I will... Okay. I'll play this Paladin Protector to reduce some damage by those units. And then these guys can't be removed. Okay, so that's my turn. Uh, all right. Uh, so he does two and doesn't do anything. Um, he does one, but he's got rend because you've got. Uh, and then this doesn't do anything, and I'll be done. I'll just draw to you. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So this does four. Uh, left to right. So yeah, I take four. Yep. Okay. Reduction down to one and gone. Uh, I'll use Celestin. So uh, one thing I did, I, I I was very I I RP'd an orc last game. I just ran stuff into things, and I think if I if there were turns where I just like skipped it and I just drew cards, I think I would have been better off. Like this guy, for instance, just let him just let say him go. screw it. Yeah, I, I don't give a shit. I'll let him run this clock out. Right. I'll just draw some cards. I'll I'll build up for the future since there's so there's like so many extra ways to do. Extra actions in this deck. Well, I'll play Strike Force Liberator. Damage to your opponent increased by two if they have twenty more health. Is this game dead? Is it still being printed, or is it? I think it was only like two I, sets of this game. I think it is only digital right now. Is it being produced digitally still? Yeah, I believe it still exists digitally in some form, but uh, this game is not in print, as far as I know. Physically, I, I believe it's so. not. Yeah. All right, so that is my turn. Okay. Um, doesn't do anything. Uh, does three damage with rend. Um, this does one damage, and I get an extra action. Um, he does not prevent me, right? Uh, him. He does not prevent me does from, not prevent playing. from playing guys. No. Okay. So damage to your opponent increase this by two if they have twenty or more health. Okay. Yeah. So I guess that was going to happen. Um, can't stop that. So I am going to use his ability. 
um, to draw one. It is an Auruk, so I will go ahead and deploy it um, since I have uh, three actions this turn. So that's my first action is the Heroic Act. Um, play and deploy that. Uh, and then my second actions are just going to be to draw. Um, see if I care, hmm. Justin. Right. See if I care. I'll draw two. Go ahead. I think also the core or like the key for this game is you getting this guy early. Seems like, and you're yeah. like loading up on cards right now. Uh, this is going away. Oh, they ever made two away. sets? Yeah, I remember the second set coming out, and then I had heard from my friends who were very active in this game that they're like the game's done, gone. Hmm. Uh, so. This is going to do one damage, and then you're at above twenty, so three damage, right? Yes. Twenty-two. All right, I will use Celestin's ability. Draw this guy. Play the Hurricane Raptor. The damage to your opponent, the highlight champion, can't deploy spells, units, or playability. So take one. And that's my turn. All right. So uh, this rotates and does one damage to you. Um, so I have done a damage. This guy advances. Um, this guy explodes because he's got nothing left. Um, this unit explodes. And then this unit explodes. Um, I am uh, going to... Oh, this uh, spell advanced. Or the quest advanced. Yeah. Um, Floaty bros. Yep. Yeah, I am going to play the show off grunts there. Um, and then I am going to play the wow chanter here. Um, the show off grunts do damage and they are a stacking unit and they've got uh, they increase their damage by supports. Um, the wog chanter gives me an extra action, um, so yeah. And uh, that was my two actions. It is your turn. Okay, well, this does two, this does two because you're down below 20. Yep, all right, I will use cell sensibility. All that last set was digital only, yeah. I bet that was pre pandemic, too, right? Because I think this game was over and done with before the pandemic was through. Hmm, all right. I will play the storm strike fulminators there, so reduce damage by one, one, and then do four. Yep, and then that's my turn. Okay. All right, so this rotates and does two. Uh, this rotates and does one, but he prevents the damage. This rotates, and I get an extra action. So I have three actions this turn. Um, I am uh, going to draw three. Go ahead. Okay, I will rotate. This guy goes away. This reduces damage still. This goes away. I'll use Celestin. Hmm, I want both of these cards. I will draw this guy. Then I'll play Light of Sigmar. It's a spell. It does four damage. And it wrote, it removes a highlighted demon risen or spirit unit, which we don't have, but yeah, it does a spell, so I get to rotate. Yep, boop, and that's my turn. Okay, uh, this goes away. Uh, this does one damage that is prevented. This gives me an extra action, so I have three actions this turn. Um, and I am, um, Going to play Rallying Cry. 
So I can deploy two units. Um, who's rallying crying? I guess I rally and cry with him so that it disadvances. Yeah. And um, so that's still my first action. I get to deploy two units. Actually, well, yeah, I guess, I guess that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Uh, I'm going to play Trampling Grunta. So it makes that stuff dormant there. Um, and then I'll play another Trampling Grunta there. Um, okay. And then... Um, I... Have two more actions. So I am going to deadly chop here to prevent that four damage. So remove a highlighted spell or unit and then deal one damage to your opponent. Okay, so this must, this does make you take three if you if I remove. When you control by this champion is removed by your opponent, deal three damage to them. Well, I'm doing that to prevent damage, Justin. <laughs> I know. Um so we prevent one. Uh, no, nah, I don't give a shit. Okay. Um, nah, I'm just going to draw to you. See there. if I care. Okay. All right, so my turn. This is dormant, so it chills. I will do four damage. Yep, I'm at nine. Four damage rotates him. All right, I will play Hurricane Raptors there, so that does one damage to you, and this rotates. And then I will play Gift of Sigmar on Celestin Prime. It says, gain one health, increases by two for each highlighted Stormcast unit, so uh, I'm going to gain five health. One, two, three, four, five. And his health gain is his final spin. Yep. And he plays Blessing. Armor of Destiny. Reduce damage received from highlighted enemies by that amount. When this card receives reduces damage, rotate it one step forward. So five damage, five damage, five damage. Okay. And that's my turn. I have no cards in my hand. Okay. Uh, so this does two damage to you. This does one damage to you, uh, except it's reduced. So by five. This does two damage to you. Uh, this gives me an extra action. Um, all right. I am... I feel uh, like this hero wants to play just off the board anyway, because it's like, look at two cards, play a card, look at two cards, play a card. Um, I am going to play the stacking grunts here. Um, so they refresh. I am... Um, hmm. Was that guy ready last turn? Because it wasn't... That means it wasn't dormant because it was X'd up? Yeah. So this is, this is supposed it, to go away? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, This is the thing that stops me from playing anything. Yeah, I can't deploy spells, units, or play abilities. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess I'll play... Uh, mosh pit here. It does three damage to you, which is all prevented. Um, but I think it was a way at least. Yeah. Uh, and then I discard the top card of your deck. Um, okay. That was two, right? One, two. I have one action remaining, so I will just draw a card. Okay. Um, and it is your turn. So two damage. This goes away. I'll use cell stunt.
I'll play this guy, the Disruptive Liberator, so. Yep, can't deploy units, so I do get to rotate this guy, though. That's it. Okay. Uh, so, take two. Take one, right? It says support, but it says support Orox. Now, this were, these were two okay. Orox. Yep. Um, this does two to you. Uh, this rotates and goes away. Um... Okay, I, I'm going to deadly chop here. I take three for removing it, but that's at least the same as uh, the damage it would do. Yeah. Um, it does one damage to you. Uh, and I get to rotate him forward for removing. Um, uh, yeah. And then I am going to... Um, Use his ability, I guess. Or do I just draw? I just, I guess I just draw. Okay, your turn. This goes away. Do you sell Supreme? Something that does three damage. Mm. Put that on the bottom. Play this Paladin Decimator. This rotates. Okay. I'm done. Uh, all right, so this goes away, this does one, this goes away. Um, all right, I am going to use him to play an action, so that will advance him. I get to play two units, so uh, I'll play the Pouncing Wolf Riders here, which advances them, so I'll get an extra action. Um, and then you get to advance your request as well. Yes. Uh, and then I'll play the big Stabba crew over here. Um, is that also a quest? It is. And then I will get. Um, uh, so I still have two actions, so I will deadly chop him. So he's removed, and you take one. Um, and then final action will be to draw a card. Go ahead. Do sell stuff. Play the spell. That does three damage. Boom. So, I, you, you can, like, play around this dude right here by never putting anything In that I can remove. Oh, yeah, well. Um, right? So that's what happened that game. And I... Like and I didn't just I just assumed all your characters were bank blank besides Celestant. So um, I actually drew all three of my deadly chops, but um, the Vandis was going to do a bunch of damage to me. I think I was better off actually just taking the three and getting rid of that guy earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to win this matchup. Uh, like at least the way that the game has played out twice, right? Yeah. Um, I get a bunch of actions, sure, but they don't get to do anything, and I don't get to do any damage. So it's kind of frustrating, right? But I'm, I'm not trying to, like, go on full-on... No, I put these together. Um, I'm not trying to do full-on uh, Keyforge, Justin beat me five games in a night, salt mode. Mm. Um, but it's just one of the... Like, if I'm just talking about the game objectively, I play this game, and you played three of the those guys that stopped me from playing any ability, so... Um, all of my guys want me to play units to level up. Yeah. Um, and I feel like I don't have enough abilities in here that do damage also. I don't know. Um, were I constructing these decks, I feel like I would have put this together. I said much. I did my best. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't believe you. To make the good decks, so... Control versus DPS? Where was my DPS? I had lots of stuff in play. Where was the DPS? That's a good <laughs> question. This, were, this was rigged, Farquad. <laughs> I completely agree. I'm gonna count the number of rares in each of these decks, and if that deck has more rares, I'm gonna be really mad. I don't. I'll count it. Let's see. Let's see. This is one. But this, because this is rare, right? Like the, the, the still gold the, is the rare. gold, the gold with the star around yeah. it, right? Stop the steal. Two. 
Let's see. Let's see how many rares are in here. I only have four rares. My mega boss. Okay, well, I got six then. <laughs> so I don't know what you're doing then. So I mean, I feel like these hurricane raptors are rare, and this guy, who I don't. No, I probably played him in the first game, the Celestial Prosecutor. And then my hero, uh, Celestin Prime's rare, and Vandis Hammerhand is rare. Okay, the Mega Boss on Ma Crusher. But yeah, I mean, you have, what, six cards that you can play? There was just... six cards that prevent. Yeah, they can just blank this guy, yeah. right? And then um, all, except, I guess, the Mega Boss, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, I want to do damage and play units, and you stop me from doing damage and from playing units, so I, I, I felt like I was forever away from a lot of these uh, quest advancements, so yeah, I don't know. It's well, just, it. I mean, if that was my only experience with the game, I would think this game was garbage, right? Um, but uh, I know there were, like, more cards in the game because I think there's, like, a interesting interesting stuff you can do in this game, but I do think the design space is very limited. That, that was my problem with it, is like everything, when I played it, I only played with the first set, and I was like, this feels really limited. And I don't know where you came go. Out, not much changed, I felt like. I don't uh, know where you go, right? And so I think that's, swap I think that's decks. why. I don't want to swap I, decks. I, I, I can it. only lose this situation if I swap decks, Joker. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? I swap decks just beats me, and then I look like an idiot who can't play a, a, a children's card game. <laughs> A teenager's card a, game. A, yeah, an, an edgy a, teenager's card game. A TV-14 card game. Yeah. So there you have it. Where, where the screen, it cuts away anytime something really bad's going to happen. So, so the head, oh, yeah, the head was implied gone. Yeah. So that's Warhammer there Champions. You. I mean, it's all right, I, but like, so, I, I, like. Is Lightseekers a better game? Um, I guess my thing was is I completely changed my play style that game because I would have wasted cards had I played them, right? And, like, I felt like I played better and I did slightly better, but I don't think I had a chance to win that game based purely off of, like, quest advancement. Mm -hmm. so my, my vague recollection of this game was you were going to have to get a blessing, one, At to win to the win. game, yeah. right? Um, and so, yeah, maybe I should have just... But, like, the, the thing is, if I was overloading a dude to try to complete the quest, I think the Mega Boss is the easiest one to complete the quest with in this deck. You just lock that guy out of the game. For the rest of the game, right? You just keep the raptors in front of them or whatever, right? Um, and then I I just never get to use them. So War Machine High Command. That's isn't that just a? Uh, it's actually that's a board game, right? Yes, I saw it, that in Ollie's. And it was in Ollie's. Um, yeah. It is a deck builder, and uh, if it is for sale for eight dollars at Ollie's, that is too much for that game. <laughs> yeah. Um. The my major problem with the War Machine, and I say this as both a deck builder fan and a fan of the War Machine franchise, um, because I played both War Machine and Hordes, and um, I even played uh, the Iron Kingdoms RPG, um, which was really fun. Um, and the cool thing about the Iron Kingdoms RPG is that there are rules for transporting your RPG characters to the board game. Um, at the time, I don't know if it still exists, but there were there were rules that you could you could translate your character from the RPG into uh, the tabletop game characters, mm. um, and so uh, like it, it's it's got some neat stuff going on. But uh, the problem with high command is that the game sucks. The game, the game sucks. is awful. Yeah, the game is just real bad. It just it feels like a money grab. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, me and A.D. Keen both played in that uh, Iron Kingdoms RPG. So, yeah. I can't... What, did I, well, I can't remember what my character was in that game. <laughs> Ignore Kador? No, I, I think... No, I think the, the Hordes expansion for High Command did a little bit better, and it was like... I think they also had an expansion that had both uh, Retribution of Syra and Mercenaries in it, I think. And that made the game um, much better. Um, like, that got the game closer to balance. 
Uh, but yeah, it, it just it's just one of those things. Is like you play it and you're like, this doesn't feel play tested at all. And so that's another one of those games where it's just like the design space. I think I remember buying it at Gen Con, I and mean, we played it at Gen Con, and then didn't really touch it after that. Yeah, and I played it a bunch because uh, a lot of the, the the regular War Machine crew that I played with that was their transition um, into board games, right? Like yeah, that's that's how you got the War Machine people to play a board game. Is yeah, it's a War Machine board game, right? And so they they wanted to play the game. I was like, I play with you, but this game is bad. And we mm. played it a bunch. And I was like, look, what do you know? The same. Do you know? Yeah. What do you know? The game's bad. Yep. Um, so yeah. Uh and I did like I did like the Hordes expansion. I felt like that one was better, but um it's still I don't know, it just didn't it just didn't have enough. It's missing that it's missing something. It's missing that je ne sais quoi that makes yeah. it like uh pretty good, right? So all right. That's it. That's our game necromancy. We're done. That's champions. I never had to play this game again. You never I'm gonna put it in the garbage can now. Um, finish the job. Rhett player in the table. I played Rhett in the tabletop. I think Rhett was well designed. Isn't that, Rhett, like, isn't that what I played? You I, did, I yeah. I bought it? your stuff. When I you like that. Done. My, my, my master plan of getting Justin to play the game, then buying the stuff from him when he quit the game worked in that instance. Yeah, it was great. But I kept I kept playing. I played um, I played the game until I lost to Nathan once and then I quit. <laughs> but I, I won a bunch before that. I was really War Machine was a game I was really bad at for a very long time, and then there was like a year of tournaments where, <laughs> um, I think I I won. Um, I don't know if it was a full year, but there was a there was there was a time where I was the player to beat in the uh, in the community. So there you go. Okay, uh, next week. We're doing Netrunner. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I I would argue that right now if you're talking about oh yes, Netrunner next week. Uh, I will. I will argue with uh, Yolker. So okay. Rhett was Rhett was one of the most fundamentally misunderstand uh, misunderstood factions in that game, um, and because uh, uh, everybody everybody hated it, but the but Rhett got to ignore specific rules. Um, the one faction I hated playing was Legion of Everblight, um, because they also they ignored the rules that I wanted to take advantage of. Um and but uh, but I got to ignore. Yeah, I played it for I played it for like four, right? So, uh, I played it when um, what's her face, the floating, warcaster who had no weapon came out. Um, I'm resident sleeping about War Machine talk. I'm sorry. Uh, and I had the, to, I've had to the endure, colossal. I've been having to endure people talking about War Machine around me. And I oh, thought those okay. days were behind me. Maybe. Yeah, nope, not anymore. <laughs> Assyria, yeah, Assyria with the colossal. Um, yeah, that was when I, I, uh, that was when I was like the player to beat in the area. The Assyria colossal list. That that list was so good. Uh, okay, there you go. We're gonna try to do X Files after Netrunner. Yes. Our friend has a bunch of X Files cards. I really so, want to play X Files. We've yeah. been watching a little bit of X Files. We've been to prepare. Yep. I want to go. I actually want to go watch some X Files now. So. Yeah. That's the stream. There you go. Please subscribe if you're on YouTube. Please. Please. Our shilling has actually gotten us a few subscribers. Yeah. Active shilling. So, so if you hung out to the end through the war machine talk for some reason, if you it's, didn't right, somehow, it's related, it's related. If you didn't it's, somehow, it's card based not games really off of tabletop miniatures. It's the, related. Game of Thrones could we could do Game of Thrones second edition? I actually sold my cards for that. The before they revamped it into the LCG no, again, the, the, the first LCG. Yeah, the first right, right, because yeah. it was a CCG, which I still have a bunch of cards. Yeah, we have for, CCG stuff, but there. I have not done that. We may save the Game of Thrones stuff so that we can do those back to back. I'm not entirely prepared to do those, but because uh, I, 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 I don't think know, there's not much you can get out of playing both of the two the LCGs. They're not super different. Yeah, they're not. Uh, but um, they fix stuff for the LCG in my. Opinion. I would rather play the. The newest LCG, if we're gonna do that, is it? It's technically debts on hiatus. Like, is it even on hiatus, or they just said they're not know. gonna produce it anymore? I don't even know. Uh, I don't think they, they, thought, don't think they, they saw it a hiatus. They saw Game of Thrones season eight and were like, I don't know. Can we salvage this game? I don't know. The game, the game. Can we make had, anybody care about this game? Uh, we we do have a friend that was like highly competitive at that game. Yeah. Um, so maybe we get a guest for this that stream i don't know yeah we'll it's see. on hiatus with p4s right we so. uh we do now have the ability to have a third person yes which on is the stream 
uh, which is the Zach, which is important for the Zach stream. The Zach stream that's coming up. As well as uh, potential board gaming streams with three yes. players. Yeah. So we can actually do some three player board game streams live. Yeah. Who else is doing that? Yeah. I ask. There you go. I ask you. We're gonna we're gonna give you fifty percent more content. Now, uh it, the the most like the guy who did our emotes is most likely gonna be one of them. He he is on a podcast called Very Random Encounters. And what's gonna happen is if he shows up, he and I are gonna make jokes. Cause we we have like this super compatible Justin and I can make some jokes and like laugh back and forth. But Logan and I are like we we just chase each other down a, a comedy rabbit hole. And it's gonna be me, me and Logan making jokes and laughing at them, and then Justin's just gonna be like, "Take your turn for this to end. Take your turn. Uh, take your turn. Please Logan. take your turn. Logan, take your turn. We should play Iberia Engage. I want to play Iberia Engage really bad. And yes. I think that would be a really fun stream. Three, uh, player. three players will be interesting because I think we all bomb each other's railroads, but that's yeah, that'll be for that stream. So. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, look forward to that. Yeah, might try to get that working in the near future, next couple weeks. So, okay, there you go. I'm making the stream before then. We can talk about War Machine anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would. If you want to be on the stream, Andrew, buy that plane ticket. Come yeah. now for the Halloween party. We'll, we will. Uh, have we will have. I, I if we have to figure out how to make four people be on the stream, I'll figure it out. We will have uh, Halloween costumes for the Zach thing. So that is, if that if you're not. If Zach wasn't enough, I don't know if Zach is wearing a costume. I don't see how he couldn't wear a costume at this point. I'll tell him to make sure. Um, but uh, but yeah, I've got a I've got a I got a choice bald guy costume picked out for myself. Um, I need to go find this stuff. Um, all I've I need. A, I've got a costume that a few people will appreciate. Yeah. Not everyone will probably know. I know Code Red. Code Red. Well, Joker, you, you might get it too. Yeah. But um, but yeah, now I've got I've got a primo bald guy, uh, costume. All I need <laughs> is um, uh, uh, to to as a preview. I need a pink T-shirt. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a preview. Uh, for can you. can B five be done with with three people, or is it like it could you be need, played with three? You need a bunch. And on a vampire, we could probably do vampire. Vampire would need three too, right? Yeah, but we need we'd actually need three playable decks. So. Yeah. Well, we could do the new vamp. We I, we do have the new vampire card game. The, yeah, that would probably be a Monday night stream. That would be like a Monday night yeah. stream. Yeah, that would. That's not a dead game. That's actually pretty. Popular. It's a live game. There's the there expansions were released for it with it and relatively. It was, it, was a, it was a very big uh, turnout for people trying to get that expansion. Yeah. At the Renegade Games booth at Gen Con, so it, it's yeah. a it's a good game. Uh, apparently, people like it. People I haven't, like it. People, I haven't are talk, to play. people are talking about well, it. the the vampire franchise, like the vampire the masquerade stuff, is a really good setting. Um, I played a decent amount of that RPG. I didn't play nearly as much as other people in our play area. Um, my, uh, I, I actually worked at a store where there was like a, a 10 to 15 person game that was played. Um, it was like, it was really big in our area um, for a long time. And then it like slowly phased out. And then White Wolf did like the, they did like this apocalypse storyline where they ended all of their games and then like relaunched them. Um, and then when they relaunched them, they just didn't quite have the success that they were expecting. And then White Wolf got bought out by the company that uh, does Eve Online. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I see. Okay, that's it. There you go. Thanks for watching. It's some uh, previews of what's coming up. So, and we'll see you on Sunday for more G One. Yep. Very exciting. Very exciting.